All right, all right, please, no pictures. You like it, you love it, it's a masterpiece. Mwah. All right, but it wasn't always the masterpiece you see today. So I must take you guys back before the textures, before the polys, but not that far back. So I like to start off with a chair. My mother always told me growing up in Chashnu that if I was to make a chair, I must have lots of edge loops. And then I thought to myself, let's have lots of sexy time and texture painter, yes? All right, guys, so the original goal is it's 14 days into using Blender, and I wanted to showcase me doing an environment for my week two. So originally I was gonna do the Hunting of Hill House home, but as I started to model it, I noticed it was super simplistic and it can just be done really quick, and I didn't think that was too impressive. So I thought I'd do a 70s bar. All right, guys, so to move forward with the breakdown of this environment, um, so after I gathered my reference photos, it was a couple of items that stuck out to me in every photo and they kind of separated the diner from any other restaurant and that's uh, this checker pattern so whether it's on the the floor or the wall if you have checker pattern it kind of helps sell the diner the diner filling as well as the bar stools now if I were to replace the bar stools with a wooden chair or a metal chair it wouldn't sell as good you couldn't distinguish it from a family restaurant or uh, you know Chuck E. Cheddar's or whatever <laughs> so um, I had that in the back of my head upon uh, creating this environment now, another thing that I had to ensure that I did was uh, break the mold of the interior living room or bedroom that everyone does once they uh, kind of get a hold of everything. Not to say that it's a bad thing, but it's just, uh, it's a lot more creative when you start to uh, use what you learn in a different manner. So I used the tutorials that I learned from the Blender Guru and a few other ones to create this environment. Now, there was a tutorial I saw a while back um, where I saw Andrew Price, he actually used little dirt maps in the corner of an outside patio. But uh, I kind of perfected an even better way uh, of using these dirt maps because these are actually alpha, so I can actually uh, move this up and down where it's not the texture that's uh, manipulating this. So if I wanted this to be all the way to the right, I can do that, you know, drag and misplace it. And there's so much you can do with these alpha channels. Um, a couple of them are, like even on the, the ground, like I didn't texture any of this. You know, well, I, I created the alpha, so I textured it in the beginning, but I didn't texture it on the floor. Everything can be moved around here. Even the Blender Guru name I put here, B Guru. I put his name in a few different spots, hoping that people could catch it later on. So even on this little sign here, nothing is um, accidental. Everything is meticulous. I thought about everything before I, I kind of made it. So if you rotate this around, you'll see that it says there was no storm, right? Because you can see that these this glass is broken out, but it's broken out on the inside, meaning there's something outside, some force outside pushed this inside. And... I gave him also a shout out right there so you can see Andrew P, Andrew Price. So something outside happened to um, to <laughs> damage this place and that's the reason why it's isolated. So um, I'll leave that up to the viewer to have their own thoughts on this. And also uh, uniformity, un uniformity. I tried to break away from having everything um, perfect. So I had some slanted. It helps for a better story because if everything was the same, it wouldn't sell. Like these bar stools, if they all were red, it would seem a little fake because, um, yeah, variety is awesome. All right, guys, let's talk about my lighting process. So I decided not to go with the HDRI, but instead use a skylight, but change the tint to a bluish color to appear to be dark or nighttime. Then I noticed that my eyes are still focusing outside the windows, so I figured how better to bring the audience inside than to add some atmospheric or volumetric fog. But now I noticed that the default settings are a little too dense, so I thought if I just push it back in a distance, maybe that'll help out, but it didn't. So I had to use a ramp node to make it gradually get darker throughout the distance. But now it feels claustrophobic inside, so I use the light in the background to kind of give the audience a feeling that there may be something around the corner and maybe this place is a little bit bigger than the eye may behold. Now I need to start adding some story to this. So I added some props, barricades, plywood, things like that. Then I uh, I needed some light 
in the outside. So I started affecting the light, but I noticed that light is too low and it makes it seem like someone's looking right outside that window with the light and it felt artificial. So I changed the distance of the light as well as changed the pattern of the concrete to make it feel more like a diner. Now I noticed I needed some wear and tear to it to give it a little bit of age, but not too much. So I added some damaged ceiling uh, area. So I added some ropes, pipes, things like that. Then I dialed the camera back to give us a more visual representation of where we are relative to the scene. But now I need some structure to this environment. Uh, I added dynamics, so I added glass shards. So I, ch I quickly removed these um, rocks and changed them to be glass. And I also noticed in the reference they had structures holding and support the interior, so I added poles. And then I noticed this pole in the foreground looked too uh, plasticky, so I added a silver tone to it. And it still felt a little weird, so I thought I'd maybe just remove it because it doesn't... Um, the focal points too, it's just something about it doesn't seem right. So I added some ceiling light and I removed the pole. But then I figured maybe I'll just bring the pole back, but then slide it to the left a little bit. So the focal point is still in the center as well as the rule of thirds uh, looks better this way for compositional purposes. So now I started to add dirt around the floor, the walls, grime, grunge, all that good stuff that we need to help tell a story of gore and horror. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial, or not tutorial, this my process of my 14 days so far of using Blender. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.